Here's the question. Is d2y dx2 the same as dy dx in the parentheses and to the second power? Hmm. For the notation wise, well, they look similar, right? But let me remind you guys. This right here means the second derivative, and this right here means the first derivative. You put that in the parentheses and you square that, right? Do you think that they are secretly the same every single time? Well, I don't know either. Let's go ahead and check that out. For part A, is this right here a solution to this differential equation? Well, let's have a look. So, you see that right here we need a second derivative, so let's go ahead and just do the derivative twice. Right here, well, I will just write down dy dx for you guys, that's the first derivative. Differentiating negative ln, so we get negative 1 over, and then we have the inside on the bottom. And don't forget the chain rule multiplied by the derivative of the inside. Derivative of 2 minus x is negative 1. So multiply by negative 1 right here. And we are really looking at this as positive 1 over 2 minus x. And because we have to go to the second derivative, let's write that as 2 minus x raised to the negative 1 power. This way, when we do the derivative again, you see that that's the notation. We can just put the negative 1 in the front and the minus 1. So we have negative parentheses, 2 minus x raised to the negative 2 power, but again, the chain rule multiplied by the derivative inside, which is negative 1. We'll clean things up. Negative times negative, we get positive, and then this is 2 minus x to the second power, like that, which is very good. Alright, now, put this right here, so we have 1 over 2 minus x. In the parentheses, square that. Is this the same as we put the first derivative in here and square? So open the parentheses with this inside, and then we square. Are they the same? Definitely, in this case, right? You see that one square is 1, and then we have the inside here, right? We still have the 2 minus x put inside of the parentheses, and just square that. Of course, they are equal to each other. So for this one, it checks. So, does that mean that this is always true? Well, I don't know. I cannot say too much. Have a look right here. Hmm, why it's equal to negative square root of 2 minus x? Well, again, do the derivative twice and see what happens. Well, go ahead, dy dx in action. And when we take the derivative of square root, it's just 1 over 2 times the square root whatever, and then the chain rule, right? Here we have the negative, and then we have 1 over 2 times the square root of 2 minus x. And then, don't forget the chain rule. Multiply by the derivative inside. The derivative of 2 minus x is negative 1, so multiply by negative 1 here. Have a look, this becomes positive 1 over 2 square root of 2 minus x. And right here, I'm going to write this as 1 over 2 times 2 minus x to the negative 1 half power. It's easier for us to do the derivative again, right? Alright, d2y dx2, this will be Bring the power to the front and the minus 1. Well, 1 half times negative 1 half, we get negative 1 over 4. And uh, inside states the same. Negative 1 half minus 1 is negative 3 half. That's nice. And then times the derivative of the inside again. So we multiply by negative 1. And now let's just put everything nicely. Well, negative negative is positive. And uh, we have 1 over, let me have the 4 right here, and also this on the bottom, which is 2 minus x raised to the negative 3 half power, like so. Okay, put this in there. So we are looking at 1 over 4 times 2 minus x raised to the, this is supposed to be positive, right? Positive power, positive 3 half power. So let's put this down. And then we would like to see if this is the same as putting down the first derivative in here and then square. Well, I will put this version down so we see this is going to be 1 over 2 square root of 2 minus x. And then we square that. Okay, have a look. 1 over 2 square is just 1 over 4. Square root square. Cancel, so it becomes a regular parenthesis, and then 2 minus x. Um, 
in this case, this is what? So this right here is, of course, this and that, they are not the same. Earlier, they are exactly the same, but this time, it's not the same. So what exactly does that mean for the original differential equation? Is this always true or never true? Well, either one. Yeah, neither one, right? This right here is sometimes true. So let me just write this down right here for you guys. And a uh, much easier solution to this is that whenever you have a constant function that say y is equal to 7, differentiating that one time, you get the first derivative 0, and the second derivative is also 0, putting, putting, 0 is equal to 0. So that's another uh, solution to it. And if you want to see how to go from here, right, to the general solution, you can check my other video I have made that years ago. But anyway though, this right here is it.